What's up, internetpreneurs? It's late at night here. I'm in Denton, Texas, um, visiting a friend of mine. He's uh, from Nigeria, and he's uh, getting a PhD in mathematics. So I'm here in the Department of Mathematics at like 11.30 at night, and we're just hanging out a little bit. Uh, he's getting some uh, surgery done tomorrow morning, so uh, you know, keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, he'll be okay. Pretty, uh, it's not, it's nothing serious, but you know, he needed me to come up and check on him and help him out and give him a ride to the hospital and stuff. But um, anyway, so that's what I've got going on in my life. Um, but here I am, <laughs> late at night, still devoted to these videos. So uh, today's topic is um, <clears throat> work-life balance, especially if you're a business owner. Um, how can you manage a growing family um, when your business is also growing? Um, and for me, uh, I don't have a ton of first-hand experience with this because I'm still young, I'm still single. However, um, I do take care of my parents. Uh, they're a little bit older. My dad's 70, my mom's, uh, you know, getting towards her mid-60s, and my grandmother is well into her 90s. So I do uh, have to take care of them a lot myself. And, um, you know, that can be difficult when you're running a full-time online business. Um, so I think the key is to just have designated times that you spend with your family, um, you know, maybe dinner or breakfast time. You know, meals are always super important to really bond and connect with your family and, and not talk about business, <laughs> although that might be hard because, you know, the thing is, um, you know, according to my mentor, Matt Lloyd, he says that, uh, you know, if you're going to be a business owner, and you're going to be a successful business owner, your business needs to be in the top three things in your life. It needs to at least be number three. You know, hopefully um, family is one or two, but uh, your business needs to be number three. And that's really difficult to do if your spouse and or family um, isn't also involved in your business. So it's really important that your spouse is on board um, and even probably, you know, your biggest uh, business partner as well um, you know the idea is that your family really needs to understand how important the business is uh, what it means to you and the time commitment that's in it as well so you know that your family your house is going to be divided against itself if y'all aren't on the same page and I guess the best way to do that is to explain the inner workings of your business and even delegate some of the tasks in your business to your spouse or other people in your family so um, yeah I guess that's that's really all I have on that topic is that um, you know businesses need to be family businesses even if they're online um, and the great thing about an online business is you don't have to worry about commuting and you don't have to worry about a whole lot of other factors that would really normally cut into your family time anyway so Enjoy time with your family. Enjoy spending time on your business. Um, but, you know, find a way to balance the two and um, run the business together because, you know, who wants to have a business alone? Who wants to do that alone? I'm sure you can have employees, virtual assistants, but, um, you know, if the business is flourishing, your family is going to flourish and vice versa. So, that's all I got to say on that, guys. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Pura Vida.